Oh, no, 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 Hi there, my fellow friends of YouTube. I'm back, and if you've missed me, it's because I've not actually been very well. I actually caught the COVID. Yeah, that's right. All of those weeks of me joking about it hadn't got me yet. It got me. Oh, God, it got me. In fact, it got everybody in my house, so we've all been pretty not with it. So apologies for the lack of video, but clearly I was dying because I am a man and that's what men do when they are ill. Anyway, without further ado, I know why you're here, and that's to look at more TikTok bilge. So we've got some videos queued up. We're going to have a look now and see what utter nonsense we can find on TikTok. And knowing TikTok, there's going to be a lot. So let's have a look. Only on TikTok could there be a video of a fully grown adult female dressed as Toad from Mario making Toad noises. Yeah. <laughs> I've seen this video before and it is very strange. This woman literally went to sleep one night, woke up the following day with a Chinese accent. And yeah, I know what you're thinking. How? And the honest answer to that is, I don't really know, but I think this video will probably explain it. But needless to say, it is a little bit strange, as we're about to see. Sarah has spent most of her life in Plymouth and had the accent to match until recently. So, fish and chips. Chips. I said that right? Yeah. Three and a half years ago, she was rushed into hospital with a migraine which left her with a voice she didn't recognize. I have not actually heard my voice in the conversation. Sarah has been diagnosed with foreign accent syndrome. So there you go. Went to bed with a migraine and woke up with a Chinese accent. And just to make things even stranger, this is actually called something called foreign accent syndrome. I have no idea absolutely no idea and i would google it but i i can't be bothered so next oh uh, well, he's definitely a grower that's some serious pipe i could think of more jokes but i no oh god seals they really are very strange, aren't they? Now let's look at the comments on this one. Queef machine, queef machine? If you don't know what that means, please Google it. I'm not explaining it here. It's <laughs> Seth Rogen's laugh at the end. <laughs> oh, TikTok. Uh, that's literally me every time I drink a cup of coffee. And we've spoken about this way too much on this channel. I don't want to scare my viewers off with talking about my bowels. So we'll leave it there. Show your face if someone touches your man. <laughs> I think her man is safe. Jesus Christ, what the hell was that all about? Oh. <sighs> Well, each to their own, I guess. I'm saying nothing. <laughs> oh, God. If you didn't see my last video, and if you didn't, why not? You would have seen that there was a video um, on TikTok of Yoda sitting on the toilet having a poo. It was pretty intense. So intense, in fact, that TikTok actually removed it. Yeah, go figure. Literally not on TikTok anywhere. Well, certainly not by the, the person that initially posted it. But I mean, all of the stuff that I've seen on TikTok and some of the stuff that I haven't even been able to post on this channel because, you know, stuff will happen. And yet Yoda having a poo has has been removed from TikTok. I don't understand. Anyway, th th this is a different video. This is Yoda hates getting wet. So let's let's have a look. 
just what (laughs) what is going on in the world i mean this comment pretty much sums up how i'm feeling right now hmm suffering i am yeah (laughs) that's just the general vibe you get from tiktok these days (laughs) what is it (laughs) oh god Sorry, the Rona just appeared again for a brief second. What is it with dogs and people doing that with their mouths? Oh, good God, alive this comment. Now imagine doing this to your wife when she's yelling at you. I think that might be called domestic violence. I'm not, I'm not sure. Just a little thing just strikes a chord that, that may be a wrong thing to say. It's just dawned on me that I may have just completely lost it and laughed really hard at the wrong moment. So let's listen to that again, shall we? <laughs> well, at least I managed to keep it in this time. How how did that how did that come out of that little creature? <laughs> Man, the mind boggles. Me when I brush my teeth. Yeah, valid point. Or trying to do a COVID test, as I found out. Because trying to stick something down the back of your throat first thing in the morning is just... It's not a pleasant thing. It really isn't. And it gets me... Oh, it's getting me just thinking about it. Oh, dear God. Just watch more TikTok. It'll go away. Hey, baby. You looking for a date? No, thanks, gorgeous. I'm happily married now. (laughs) Good old Grand Theft Auto. Every time I started a game of Grand Theft Auto, that would be one of the first things. I'd cruise around, find a prostitute, and off her. I don't know why. Maybe it's just some weird psycho tendencies. I can't be the only one, though. Right? Bend over and I can give you a chocolate milkshake. Just don't wipe first and I'll nut in your ass. It's go time! I mean, I've never, I've never done any live streaming, not yet, anyway. But how did she miss that? It's, it's the look of realization on her face when she realizes what she's just said. Bend over, and I can give you a chocolate milkshake. Just don't wipe first, and I'll nut in your ass. It's go time. Yeah, it, it was just that moment of realization. I mean, she was reading it out. How, how did she not? How did she not get? I. Uh, huh. I just, yeah. People keep asking me, why do you want a Tesla? And not that I would ever be able to afford one, but you know, in the, the strange event that I may suddenly come into an obscene amount of money one day, my first car would be a Tesla. You know, there used to be other cars, Lamborghinis and Scoobies and all the rest of it, but no, they've all been replaced by a Tesla. And if anybody asks, why why would you want a Tesla? Just that! Imagine having that as a horn on your car! Oh, come on. We're oh God. That poor child. Once would be enough. As a parent, just just witnessing that once would be enough just no don't do that anymore because stuff will happen in the future oh i just let him headbutt the floor he's gonna do it some more isn't he i think that <laughs> oh wow that was a thud who taught you to do that <laughs> oh, God. i just i don't i don't understand like, why would you let your child do that? <laughs> One of these top comments. 80 years later, he becomes president. Ah, it's baby Biden. Oh, I need a poo. Oh. <laughs> that sphincter signed it in trouble. <laughs> this top comment. <laughs> that came out with slippers on. <laughs> 
And my personal favourite. It sounds like a wild cat draining in custard. Yeah, it did a little bit. Hey, are you into comics? Yeah. Oh, nice. What else are you into? <laughs> I, I can't imagine for one second that's the kind of female that hangs around a comic book store. I mean, if, I, if I'm wrong, please, you know, disprove me by sticking a comment down there. But I, I, I just, I can't believe for a second that there are women that, that go to comic book stores that are that way inclined. I, I could be wrong. I could be wrong. If someone stabs you in your bum hole three times, oh, 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 ouch! All you need to say. I don't think that's a funny video, Caesar. Somebody being stabbed in the bum hole and all that. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. All the things to get caught saying by your parent. <laughs> being stabbed in the bum hole. <laughs> oh god. So from Church Cross in County Cork, welcome Seamus Murphy. Just on the wave. Yep. Well done. That has got to become a meme, surely. How do you not know how to wave? I just I don't understand. <laughs> oh, good God. Oh, once again, me proving I am a giant child. But that was brilliant. I mean, <laughs> that cat. <laughs> I just found out you can make the text-to-speech voice sound like an idling M57. <laughs> yeah, that was scarily accurate. It was just the initial first few seconds of that. Wow. Here you go. Here you go. 68. Wish my fucking missus put that much effort in. <laughs> hey, boo. What? Do you want to play the rape game? No. That's the spirit. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was unexpected. <laughs> I'm not quite sure why I find but so funny but there's got to be a reason why people like me who are old like the sound of farts i mean uh, let's listen to that again it might be it might be one day it might be a funny idea for me to try and do a you laugh you lose challenge with just farts because what am I on about? I'd lose. Maybe no, that, that wouldn't be a challenge at all. I, I would lose horrifically. Let's dive into the comments, shall we? <laughs> That's going to itch when it dries. See a doctor. Low budget jacuzzi. <laughs> so I'm such a child. <laughs> I remember this video, I've, I've seen it before. And disclaimer, if you find the sounds of somebody retching disturbing or makes you want to retch yourself, I would strongly recommend you skip the next few seconds because I this is pretty, <laughs> pretty impressive from a retching point of view. And again, another noise that I find hilarious. So apologies, but let's watch anyway, because, you know, why not? Tom, what are you doing? Yeah. Uh, 
Oh God, I, don't, I just don't know what like the the two two ends of the human body, the mouth and and the ass. <laughs> just the noises that come out of them just send me into utter hysterics, and I just I don't know why. It's baffling to everybody. Some body. <laughs> No, no, for the hooky's Ah, sleep talking is is just one of the funniest things. I had this app on my phone for many years, uh, funny enough, called Sleep Talk Recorder, and some of the things it, it heard me say in my sleep was just next level. For this guy, this this guy kind of reminds me of some of the stuff that I said. That let's listen to that again because that was brilliant. No, no, for the like, What was with the weird Swedish sounding singing? <laughs> God alive. Wow. Okay, so. <laughs> These are one of those really, really expensive medical dolls that basically trains up midwives ready for actually birthing humans into this terrible world that we live in and they've come on a long way i mean let's let's dive a little bit deeper into this because you know it's first of all as you can see it's atomically correct so we we've obviously got you know that the main bits and we've got legs and we've got a belly and everything else and then we <laughs> i mean what the hell is going on there and I'm sure it's going to get worse. That's... <laughs> I mean, what? Why has it got funny eyes? Ah, <laughs> oh, I'm done. I think I'm done. Thank you ever so much for watching this video. And if you like this video and you want to see more stuff, then make sure you hit the subscribe button and give the video a like as well because then that shows other people that hey you liked this so you might like this too and then stuff may happen there's also lots of other videos as well and i'm gonna start trying to get back on the old making one video a week wagon i've got another video planned a couple of you have suggested that i might want to do it so i'm going to and that is a boris johnson funniest moments compilation and that may not sound riveting but honestly if you've seen some of these videos of what our humble Prime Minister has done in the past, it's no doubt going to be a hilarious ride. So thanks again for watching, thanks again for subscribing, stay safe out there, the world's still a bit iffy, and until next time my friends, take it easy.